EV battery pack costs were cut by 90% from 2008 to 2023. Hey EV lovers, welcome to EVpedia, your ultimate hub for electric vehicles. If you're as excited about EVs as we are, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and drop a comment below. And if you want to help us bring even more amazing content, consider giving us a super thanks. The latest data reveals massive reductions in costs. The two main drivers of mass electrification are battery energy density, related to range, and battery costs, related to affordability, and both have improved tremendously over the past 15 years. According to the Department of Energy's DOE's Vehicle Technologies Office, the average cost of a light-duty electric vehicle's lithium-ion battery pack decreased by 90% between 2008 and 2023 when using 2023 constant dollars to reflect purchasing power, adjustment for inflation. The report says that a kilowatt hour of usable EV battery capacity costs about $139 in 2023, and using 2023 constant dollars, it was $1,415 per kilowatt hour in 2008. The estimate was calculated for production at a scale of at least 100,000 battery packs per year. The progress is very high and significantly outpaced inflation, the current dollars in the chart, although it was the most rapid in the first several years. Estimated EV lithium-ion battery pack cost, 2008 to 2023. It said that three main elements allowed battery costs to be brought down. Improvements in battery technologies and chemistries, improvements in manufacturing, and simply a higher production volume. We can calculate that at $139 per kilowatt hour of usable battery capacity, a brand new 100 kilowatt hour pack should cost $13,900. A more popular 80 kilowatt hour pack would be $11,120. Considering a $35,000 to $40,000 price tag for a car, it's still a substantial part of the price. But let's also recall that over 10 years ago, in a similar bracket, we would get only an EV with a 24 to 30 kilowatt hour battery and a few times shorter driving range. The question is whether the battery cost will continue to decrease substantially in the coming years. There are still new technologies on the table, and the scale might be increased. In the long term, recycling should come into play to reduce material costs. That's it for today's episode of EVpedia. If you had fun, subscribe, like, and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to give us a super thanks to support our channel. Thanks for watching, and stay charged. Until next time, keep it electric.